and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today the 28th of october 2022 mike smith senior analyst here hope you've had a good weekend i'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend but let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now of course overnight we had a mixed session in wall street again big tech earnings impacting on the nasdaq and the s p 500 dragging it down the dow closed in positive territory again for the second day on the spin with better than expected gdp and lower pc helping along with some of the earnings that came out for that index after hours we had more reports come from big tech who had apple up and amazon down in after hours trading on their respective reports us futures are lower in asia on the back of those weaker tech reports and asian indices are following that weaker us lead asx is down around 0.6 percent with the material sector underperforming we note european equity futures are also pointing to a lower open so it doesn't look like a particularly positive end to the week. The US dollar index recovered yesterday, reversing the previous day's losses. It is higher in Asia as well. We're seeing gold trade just below that 1675 resistance or remains at the top of the range and under the 200 MA, around about 95 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper futures didn't move much and still around that 350 level. And the VIX is still below 28, despite those tech earnings and the underperforming US futures. Bitcoin did look promising yesterday. It breached that 20,000 resistance, but has retraced overnight. It'll be interesting to see what the next move on that is and whether it pops back into that range. On the data front, we've got quite a busy one. We've got Japanese CPI, which is already coming quite hot. We've also got the Bank of Japan rate decision due. That policy statement that goes along with that will be eyed very closely. Obviously, the yen has been under significant pressure and there's been attempted interventions to strengthen it without success. In Europe, we've got the German GDP number and obviously inflation is going to be looked at fairly closely as well. So expect some movement in the euro later today. And we've got US PCE data, including the year on year figures, which are the important ones and personal spending. So a busy day in data. And we've also got some major earnings due, including some of the big players in the energy space with Chevron and Exxon Mobil, along with Colgate on a quieter day than has been the case through the week. We'll get some ramp up next week again as we dive deeper into earnings season. A couple of charts of interest to keep an eye on today. Uh, without a doubt, the Japanese yen is one to keep an eye on. We've been keeping an eye on the euro yen and this key level at around about 145.90. Let's call it 146. Expect some significant movement in this subsequent to that BOJ rate decision but there is a potential move up of around about 45 to 50 pips in the first instance on this should we get in the policy statement some indication that some further intervention is potentially due just watch this 145.65 level that breached could mean a significant down move of perhaps somewhere in the region of 100 pips I'll watch as the day progresses for there may be plenty of action on all of the yen crosses it's just the euro yen has some nice clear lines in the sand to keep an eye on on the asx macquarie ticket code mqg continue to look strong we had if we just put it on the line chart this double bottom type of formation down around 164 since then we've pushed up to the next key level which is as you see around this 172 uh, this looks quite interesting in terms of a potential price point could be significant upside in the medium term. US banks are doing well and Macquarie tends to be in the same category as some of the bigger banks in the US in terms of its investment bank status. Uh, watch for a possible move up to 185 to 190 in the medium term. That would be a relatively healthy 6% uh, or so. So that's one to watch into the close. Uh, you, but you can see today lots of buying pressure coming into this right now trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now